Resonating surfaces. It's a portrait of uh, Sueli Ronek, who's a, a Brazilian psychoanalyst. I met her in Sao Paulo, and it was like a real encounter that, which you can have with someone that you feel very much inspired by the person and the, the whole world and thinking of that person. For me, it's built up as a documentary. It's a portrait of her, but it's also very much my memories of Sao Paulo uh, through the sounds and the... Um, all the impressions that are... So the film is built up very much like a collage of impressions and interviews with, with Sveli Ronik. Two times 433, which is based on the piece 433 by John Cage. I was very much interested in what Cage uh, says about silence, that, that you can never experience a real silence. This made me think of how, in film, how you experience silence. And then I thought, actually, in cinema, there's never real silence because it's always recorded silence. Otherwise, it's, it feels like a gap in the sound. And as a viewer in the cinema, you're much more aware of the sound that's around you in the exhibition space or in the cinema space. So it's very much also thinking about the sound in cinema and recorded sound in cinema and silent cinema. Sequenza, which I made in 2013 together with George Van Damme. It's again a, a little bit a different approach. George Van Damme I worked with very much on the soundtrack of many films. And he asked me if we could make a film together based on Sequenza by Berio. At first I didn't really see how to do it because I didn't just want to record the sequence or just film him playing the sequence. But then I was once watching him playing the sequence and then when you look on a more um, micro level you see a lot of different rhythms in the violin, in his body. Like the arch has a very different rhythm than what you see in the shoulder or on the violin. And it sort of reflects the very different rhythms that you can hear in the piece itself. It's a very physical interpretation and on the other hand it's a very big emphasis on listening to the piece. The soundtrack is also very important and it's about a film about seeing and about listening. So that's what connects maybe all three films. <laughs> <laughs> 